Hello YouTube. So as some of you might remember I had a 8800 GTS although you can't see the GTS uh, text but it is a GTX and this card I found in the garbage actually dead. It wasn't uh, booting, artifacting all over the screen. So what I did was I took the cooler of the card then I uh, took the card out in the kitchen and did some kitchen table repairs and uh, what I did was I actually took a hair dryer to the card and uh, heated the card up as hot as the hair dryer could heat it that's pretty much as hot as you can go without damaging stuff and um, I think it's fixed now I actually do think it's fixed I can't see any problems with the screen right now and before it didn't even boot into BIOS so I mean it's a long way from what it was so if this card keeps up uh, its life and keeps working I'm gonna put it in the other workstation over there and then I will have three graphics cards in that one and I actually remember this phone does have a light and I need to clean the cooler I didn't even bother cleaning it although it's not that bad as you kinda can tell you can, have, you can see the fins in it so it's not all that bad but the computer keeps running for now I, I'm actually very impressed with this I haven't uh, thought in a lifetime you could do that now I'm gonna try it on this car and see if I can revive this card just an old piece of junk but uh, I mean it's good enough for a test bed like this but this card is also dead so I'm gonna try and revive this I mean if that works with that hair dryer I got an awesome rig <laughs> it, it's strange I ran only two tests and I didn't get a score strange and this is kind of a strange thing you can see the text is jumping a little bit if you press auto then the screen fixes it I don't get why analog does that I don't really get that but I'm not gonna use analog too much so it's not gonna be a problem anyways YouTube uh, please subscribe to my videos and uh, keep on fixing computers and everything you know you gotta keep on fixing and learning stuff this is a process of learning for me fixing graphics cards and stuff that is soldered onto the board and I have recently started getting into changing caps and stuff like that but I'm not uh, really familiar with it but uh, I'm learning and that's the fun part so anyways like I said please subscribe and bye all